Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with Jay Custom Builds. So I got my uh, brother-in-law's parts in late Friday. And um, here's the the small little, uh, the new uh, pedal, the clutch pedal. And then here's the, uh, the gloss black new linkage. And so the shifter, the shift linkage shifter or shift linkage, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, I'm going to get the camera set up so I could just swap this stuff really quick. I'm going to try not to get in your guys' way. So I'm going to take this off here. Can you guys see the pedal there? I'm going to take this off. I'll show you guys the new one that I'm putting on it. So this particular style, I actually like this style, right? So this one is the polished aluminum and it comes with these O-rings that are actually like glued on there. And so a couple of them fell off, you know, from just, you know, working it up and down, up and down, you know, they do fall off. But this one, this one is the same size and it has the bolt that goes through. I don't think this is a stainless steel bolt. And let's see if the threads are the same as this. Yeah, the threads are the same. So this one right here only has four rubbers on it. You see the rubbers right here? I got glue on my fingers because I just glued the grip on. So you'll see how this looks on that. It's gonna, I think it's gonna look great. And then we have this uh, linkage that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get on this, get on that one right now. I'm gonna take that off. I need a half inch, but first of all, I'm gonna take this baby off right here. So you have to take this bolt right here. You have to take it all the way out, right? Because the bolt um see this how this locked right here so, see how it has like an indention here like it's uh curved in there the bolt actually sits inside of that curve just like that and so it keeps it locked in there so it won't come off so let me go ahead and uh, grab a half inch really quick Inch or nine sixteenths. It's a half inch. Oh, I gotta get a seven sixteenths wrench. Forgot about that. This engine's still hot because I just I just put this bike back here. So man, I had fun riding it the other day. This girl runs beautiful. I love the way it ran. It ran so nice, man. I was gone for about an hour and I did not want to come home. I'm actually gonna use the shorter one because I don't really want to. You don't want to have a long ratchet and be bumping into stuff here. So, shorts sure, actually better. And what you want to do is you want to also measure the exact length on this guy here before you lock that other one in place. Come on, baby. Yep, it's coming out. So this takes a 7 16 most of them. They're 7 16 um, open end wrench. really hurting ah. I'm telling you guys man I've just been feeling so freaking beat up lately just I never knew arthritis could be so bad I got it in both knees okay so here here's the old one and here's the new one so what we're gonna do is you could already see the lengths are much different so I'm gonna have to open this one up and then lock it to the same length 
is that one. And you could just hold them like this and just measure them. So this one definitely needs to be opened a little bit more. And I love these two because you can close this and it still looks the same, right? Because this adjuster right here actually moves with it, right? If you close it in or you open it up, it moves with it. So you wanna to try to get the same amount of turns on each end. And you can see how this one is still off. And one is gonna be facing in and the other one's gonna be facing out. So the one facing in goes to the one on the very back. It connects to the, the gear shifter on the actual transmission. So this one needs some more turns. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get an even amount of turns on this thing. So the way you do that is you turn these in all the way, right? And then you wanna get an even amount of spacing between here and here. So this one can open up a little more and then I'll open up that one a little more. And then I'll see if I'm close to this. Still need a, more, a few more turns, right? And then again, you wanna get the same amount of spacing from head to head. Man, this one's actually pretty Now I can actually, oh no. It's actually right on the money, but since this one's gonna turn in and that one's gonna turn out, I can actually tighten this one up. So let me bring this one down. And you can actually hook it up before you actually tighten these up. This is a 7 16 as well. So you can see how I got an even amount of spacing on both both of them exactly the same so i'm going to take this out because this is actually going to turn into here If I could do it with my finger, otherwise I'll be here all year. Yep. It's going to work, guys. It's going to work. Okay. So that, I can actually tighten this one up now. there then I could take this out and here's the old one and here's the new one I'm not sure there's gonna be much difference in the play these new ones here whichever one feels better I'm gonna go to the other side over here, guys, really quick. Ugh. 
kind of tight spaced, but that's all right. Looks so much nicer with the black one on there. This bullet, this bullet actually could have worked. Yeah, because it goes in really deep. Let's see how that's gonna look. Let's see if that's gonna look too funky. Hey, Pop. Yep. I couldn't do those exercises. Oh, <laughs> she's trying to help you do those exercises again? Yeah. Hi, my wife, I tell you. She's hilarious, that woman. Honestly, I put Loctite on everything because it's a Harley. Oh. And you should check them, like the exhaust. Oh. Since I put these on there now, I'm going to ride it around for, for a couple of days. Yeah. And then I'm going to check it again in a couple of days. Yeah. Because the exhaust will, they'll, Whatever. you know, yeah, they'll, they'll loosen. They won't get loose, but the bushings will kind of wear into the, you know, they'll mold themselves. And it kind of will, the bolts will be, they won't be as tight. So yeah. I'll go back and recheck everything. Yeah. Yeah. But everything's pretty much torqued. You know, there's a torque spec for everything. Yeah. You know, the smallest bolts, the quarter 20s, you know, those go like around anywhere between 8 to 12 pounds uh -huh. of torque. Yeah. Or 8 to 11 or 8 to 12 foot pounds. But it's 120 inch pounds on the quarter 20 bolts, the smaller bolts. So I try to, you know, make sure that I, I double and triple check everything because, you know, you you want to. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to have any issues. Yeah. Especially on a on a motorcycle. You know, I went over that. I made a video and I went over that uh, last week or just a few days ago where I was talking about that. Yeah. Because the last thing you want to do is be on a on a motorcycle and and not tighten something up or torque it correctly, and then all of a sudden now you're you're having issues with that, you know, and, and you don't you don't want that. Everything's torqued. Like these guys right here, these are torqued to 15 yeah. pounds, and they're blue Loctite, right? Loctite. Loctite. Yeah. And then the other bigger bolt over there this uh -huh. is the end of the axle the other end of the axle yeah it's like an 11 16 bolt or a three-quarter bolt that gets torqued to 65 pounds the calipers get torqued to 35 pounds the pinch bolts that hold the forks together yeah. those get torqued to 55 to 60 pounds these guys right here get torqued i think 16 to 24 pounds i think i put 18 on them so everything gets torqued. All these little small bolts right here get torqued to 120 inch pounds. So, yeah. Can you use a inch or a I have a half inch torque. I have a half inch torque wrench, yeah. just a click style. I have a three quarter torque wrench and a quarter inch torque wrench. So, the quarter inch is mainly for, uh, you know, 
smaller bolts. Yeah, right. Because you'll snap those guys with the with the bigger one. So, but yeah. So, you know, I actually I actually really love this, Dad. You know, I, I love working on these bikes. You know, it, it just it, to me it's not work at all. It's it's fun. The only time it feels like work to me is when a bike's really dirty and greasy and oily, and I gotta wash it and get grease and oil and take it all apart with grease and oil all over me. I mean, I don't mind it because I understand that's the process at that time. Yeah. But the wh where I really start getting into it and loving it and, and enjoying it to the fullest is when I get to start putting everything new back together on it. That's when I have the most fun. Yeah. Yeah. So now I've got that on there. Yeah, I'm gonna get that bolt in there. Hey, Pop. Uh -huh. There's some, see that little blue Loctite bottle right there? It's blue over oh, there oh, by oh, the oh. grease. It's a little small plastic bottle of Loctite. It's blue. One? That one right there. Can you hand that to me, please? Thank you, thank you, sir. Sure. So I just, I put just put a little bit of that on there and This on. All right, guys, how does that look? New linkage is in there. The linkage is in there to the gear shifter and the foot shift peg. And uh, it's all linkage. So this is the linkage. That's the, the gear shift linkage. That's the arm for the clutch pedal. And yeah. <laughs> so anyways. That's pretty much it, guys. I just wiped that down a little bit. I finished that. It's still, it still has just very, very, very little, which, you know, I believe that's normal because it's kind of worn on the inside in there. And uh, I mean, for the most part though, I think it, I think it looks great. And so I tightened everything up. I adjusted all this stuff. I gr glued the, uh, the grip and tightened that up. 
on here. I tightened all the uh, brackets, the the uh, clutch bracket, the brake bracket, adjusted everything, adjusted the mirrors, tightened everything up up here. I'm just still working with the clutch a little bit. I might have to go in there and do a like a maybe a quarter or maybe a half a turn back off of the inner clutch. They say anywhere from half to a full turn. I did a little more than a half. So I think I'm gonna have to go back in there and give it the full full turn. And because what it does is the minute I'm holding the clutch down, right? All the way down. The minute I just depress, just I'm talking like an eighth of an inch, the bike starts creeping right away. You know, a lot of people like that, but you want to be able to, you know, just let it out very little. I mean, the, the second you just start to let the handle out like that, just like that, it starts creeping right away. So, and this should be a little bit tighter. They say you should have like an eighth of an inch of play in it. That's like, that's a lot right there. So I'm not happy with that. So I haven't connected it down there yet. I don't think that it should be open that much. It should probably be like about maybe a quarter of an inch in more around there. That's just almost opened all the way. And I just don't like that. So uh, we're going to be gone tomorrow. We're going to be celebrating a Father's Day with my father-in-law who's here with me right now. And uh we had a funeral for his brother yesterday. I think I mentioned that in my previous video. And uh, so this tomorrow, Saturday, what is it? The 29th, I believe we're going to be celebrating a late Father's Day because we weren't able to do it on my wife's side of the family. So anyways, uh, I believe I have everything now to um, finish the bike. I put the one bracket on the other side for the saddlebag. Um, I just got to put the other one on. The other one's on the table over there somewhere. And I just need some little minor things here and there. But, man, the bike's just, uh, it's just amazing, man. I rode it last, a couple days ago, for about an hour, a little over an hour. And it just runs so good. I checked the belts perfect. Like I said, it's just real minor stuff here. I just got to do a little bit of tweaking, a little bit, little bit of tweaking here and there. But for the most part, it's already done, man. I want to deliver it tomorrow, but I'm just not ready. I just got a couple more things to do. I got to mess with that clutch. And uh, just, I already, I'm done with everything up on the, on the bars. And uh, the lighting, everything's all done up there. I can put the cap back on and get this girl torqued right there because the, uh, the follow is completely done on the bike. I love the way it handles and the way it feels. So, and the rear, everything's done with the wheels. Everything is done with the wheels. The brakes are, uh, I'm gonna re-bleed the rear brakes because the fronts grab perfectly. The rear is a little bit, a little bit spongy and I did have just like real small bubbles coming out of it the last time I bled it. Um, and I'm just gonna do it again. Sometimes you have to do it again. So I believe I got most of them out. I'm gonna do one more time. It is grabbing. Um, it, it's grabbing good, but not, I'm not happy with it. It's not grabbing like this bike here, which is the 2009, this one, the ABS on this works perfectly. So I had to do the same thing to that one. So I'll do that to, to Jesse's bike here and, uh, get it delivered next weekend for sure. I think he wanted to deliver tomorrow because there's going to be a lot of family there tomorrow. And I think he just wanted his bike and I feel bad that I wasn't able to get it done, but, uh, I'll get it done for him. I'll get it done as soon as I can. So anyways, you guys have a great night and, uh, I will, uh, talk to you guys Sunday. Have a great weekend. Big John J custom builds. Thank you.